what's up dudes it's pat and welcome back to another minecraft video hey guys so today we are playing a map called chasing time we are actually going to be traveling through time in this map oh i like the sounds of that i've always loved time travel and especially come on the time travel movies hot tub time machine back to the future and there was probably some others as well <laughs> those, those are my favorite ones so today we are going to be traveling through time in Minecraft. And guys, I did want to point out, it says it's single player only, but I talked to the creator. He said to give it a shot anyways. It might just be like one or two small bugs where we have to teleport to each other. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right, awesome. All right, so do you see a player skin here? Yes, I do. All right, so it's working and there's a sound test. Oh, we have the settings, right? All right, let's test the sound. Yo, what's up? If you're hearing this, that means uh, your sound's working correctly. Awesome. Now go click Yay. that button and play this map. All right, we will do it. Okay. We will listen to you. I kind of wish that it, he was, like, next to it, so it was like I'm talking to him, you know? All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, definitely smash that subscribe button, and let's, let's do it. Okay. Where are we? What's happening? It's powered. My screen's black. Should I begin? Yes, proceed with neuro implementing. I can't see anything. Fabricated memories and intelligence have been inserted. All right, power it down, Dr. Laura. Oh, we'll take I it from here. Again. Where am I? Maybe you should be Dr. Laura. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Hello, Matt. My name is Dr. Laura. You must be confused. After all, you were just born today. What do you mean? Don't worry about it now, Matt. The answers will come in due time. When the doors open momentarily, please enter the room to your left. Did you say momentarily weird? No, I didn't, okay? <laughs> it's, it's I said it's perfectly it. normal. All right, okay. <laughs> All right, so you, were, you didn't even, it had already opened when you said that. <laughs> oh, that's, there she is. Oh, yeah, I love your hair. So we were just born now? Why are we so big? <laughs> <laughs> My mom always said I'm a big baby. <laughs> All right, um, staff rooms. What does she want us to do? She um. Enter the room to your left. To your left. All right, so we were facing this way. So it looks like if we go left, we are going to the accelerator hallway too. You are not authorized to enter this area. That is, that is totally a left turn. Mom, um, that's not the right way. She said take a left. It says it right here. <laughs> Please enter the room to your left. That Dr. is my left. Dr. Laura, where do we go? Wait, all right, so over here is the staff rooms. All right, not authorized. All right, okay. That's not the right room. So the only way to go is the resting chamber. Okay, let's go. This is such a cool looking place, isn't it? No. This will be your room. I know you have questions now, Matt, but hang in there. The answers will come tomorrow. Get some sleep, Matt. I'll see you in the morning. It's really dark in here. <laughs> it's really Wait, dark. Wait, can you do me a favor and when you uh, do her line, say Pat instead of Matt? Oh, okay. I think it would make more sense. Good morning. Good morning, Pat. How was your sleep? Ugh. Never mind that. Come out into the corridor. I have something to show you. All right, so we need a fighter. Oh, we even have a little TV over here. Oh, yeah. All right, well, a computer probably. This is so cool, isn't it? I know. Health status, all systems normal. So we're okay, but we were just born. We were just born yesterday. All right, so I think we came from the other direction, so this must... Wait, I want to explore. I know, me too. <laughs> all right, maybe we should just go. Well, she said it's to the corridor. Could... Oh, there she is. Oh, you found her? Yeah. Welcome, Pat. This is the lab's most prized creation. To put it plainly, it's a time machine. A time machine? But I thought they were just a work of fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that the knowledge we gave you doesn't include the time gem. You see, it is impossible to accelerate anything that abides by the laws of physics past the speed of light. However, theoretically, <laughs> if something were to travel faster than the speed of light, time itself can be reversed. I'll wait for you in the vessel chamber to your right. It will be easier to explain the rest there. Oh my god, I love how you said theoretically. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. Did I not say it right? You said it really funny, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, so we have to go to the vessel chamber. I was chamber. trying to sound intelligent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sounds smart. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, is that? This machine grows vessels that contain the time gem in them. Every cell in the vessel has time gem particles in them. What is the time gem? <laughs> <laughs> the time gem is something that doesn't abide by the laws of physics. 
It was found two years ago, six years after the virus breakout. Virus breakout as in a zombie virus? Haha, <laughs> 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 I guess you can put it that way. It was a rapidly spreading parasite that corrupts the brain. The lab was built to grow a vessel that could travel back in time using the time gem to stop the virus from happening. That's me, I'm assuming! Yes! You were the first vessel we could grow without any physical deformities. Because you have the time gem particle in your cells, you are the only person that is capable of traveling to the past. My goodness, I have a lot to say. I know. <laughs> we only know the general area where the virus started. A machine isn't smart enough to judge what the best course of action is to destroy the virus. Pat, I don't want to pressure you into doing this if you don't want to. I could have you risk your life for something you've never known. I can't. I can't have you. I could care less about those people, but <laughs> I'll do it. I'm not doing it for some noble cause. I'm doing it for her. Really? That's great. I can't tell you how happy I am. Go get some rest, Pat. Your training for the time travel will start tomorrow. Uh, What's that noise? What kind of experiment's going on? Oh, man. Ah! Foreign organisms entering Whoa! lab. Exit room! Oh, that's simple. Um, okay. This Let's way. Go. Pat, can you hear me in the lounge? Nope. Well, yeah. Oh, Dr. Laura, sorry. <laughs> Listen, I'm in the central room right now. You need to get to the time machine right now. There's no time. Hurry. All right, okay, we have um, to go. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right, so it was over this way through the corridor. Yes, through there. Oh, my God, it's all messed over up looking. Here. Um. What, does this look right? What do we do? Is this right? This looks um, wrong. Something looks... What's oh, oh. happening? Wait, do we have to, like, parkour out of this? I don't know. What is... How do we get out of here? <laughs> Where's the time machine? I can see the moon. Why is it orange? Is that normal? Oh, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> we're in a situation right now. So you said just go. Oh, we're probably in the wrong room. That's oh, why. Oh, okay. All right, so we need to go to. Where do we go again? We need to get to the time machine. Okay. So the way to get there, I'm not really 100% sure, but let's try staff rooms. All right, let's go. I thought we were going to, because it got broken. That's why we couldn't go that way. Oh, my goodness. Punch him. Kill him. There's Dr. Laura's. There's so many. Oh, man. And they're pillaging and taking oh, all their fish. stuff. No, put that fish down. Get put it down. Um, this oh, is, man. This is bad. Is that a fishing rod in your hand? What are you doing? I found a bunch of books and stuff. There's power blocks in here, Jen. We might need these. I found Dr. Richie's room. I have no idea who Dr. Richie is. I don't know. It says we need these blocks, maybe. I'm going to grab every single one of these. There's zombies attacked. I killed attacked. one of the zombies. Oh, good. Two more for you to kill now. Oh, okay. All right. I think we got some important stuff, and I got books that we can read. There's a chest in Dr. Richie's room. All right, so there's probably some stuff we need in there. Yeah. All right, let's kill these dudes. One down. One left. All right, slow 1.10 attack. Oh, yeah, I always forget about that. You're just spam clicking. I'm always clicking. punching like a beast. It says, go up to the yellow stained clay. Time to fix that door. Okay, so I've got some books, right? Yes, you about do. Subject 125, subject 159, AK. That's about us, AK Matt. Yeah. And um, 128, so I'm going to read all these. Okay. But it says, subject 125, um, percentage of cell composed of time jump, 75%. So these are the people that were failures. Oh. And they died in 2050. What year is it? Hmm. My personal notes, subject 125's body has many physical deformities and thus has been considered a failure. No further comments. All right, number 128, 75% as well, also dead. Um, suffered very minor physical deformities. Prospects look good so far. Neuroimplementing was unsuccessful. Its brain rejected the data that we tried to give it. It looks like this. It um. looks like this is. <laughs> All right. All right, this one's about us. All right, 75%. I'm really happy that Subject 159 was a success. We were able to create it through a rapid growth machine that sped up cell growth dramatically. I think I'm going to call him Pat. It feels too inhumane to call him Subject 159. Pat is a person, not a machine. I like how there's all pages. That's right. 
Page four, page five. And I will treat him as such, Dr. Laura. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, I got these power bricks. I don't know if we're going to need them. All right, we're like wasting a lot of time right now. She said to hurry up. Oh, there's a poem in here. A poem? <laughs> well, I mean, if they're going to leave it here, I'm going to read it. <laughs> the map creator put this in here. Let's see what it says. Do not go gentle into that good night by Dylan... Dylan. Dylan Thomas. Dylan, whatever. <laughs> Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Through the wise men at their end, no dark is right. Because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna read this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was, that was nice, but. Wait, I think I found some food. What is that? It looks like a sandwich it's or a something. It's a bon me. Dak Biat? Can I eat this? I'm the subject. Oh my god, what is that? It's huge. Is it that big in my hand? It's massive. Is that a sandwich? Oh my god, it's the best sandwich ever. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> it's massive. All right, that was cool. All right, so where do we go from here? All right, so I think, oh, so we can hit this over here. Okay. There's no, there's no power oh. to this door. She actually had said we need to get to the time machine, go up the yellow stained clay. So we need to fix the door. There's no power. Oh. All right, let's okay. do this. Is it up the yellow? What does that even mean? Go up to the yellow stained clay. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm up to it, right? It's right there. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Something happened to you? I need to direct power. From the red pieces. Why am I the one doing this? <laughs> Alright, I'm teleporting to you. This is the bug they were okay. talking about on the map. Alright, it says... All right, I so need to direct power from the red pieces to the green piece to open the door. I can do this by rotating the wires. Okay. Wait, <laughs> oh, maybe it's like this. Okay, watch me. Okay, I'm watching. Can I, can I move these? Oh, yes. we can move these. Yes, you can. Alright, so the red pieces to the green pieces, right? Yes. So, I'm thinking, point this. Oh, you got this. Oh, I get it. So, these are arrows. So, we point them down. All so, right, this one perfect. has to point that way. And that way. And that way. That way. And that way. It's a, it's a little puzzle. And they should do it, right? Oh, I hope that this works. Come on. I mean, that looks right, right? Yeah. We... Oh, Wait, I, no, this one. The one on the top is wrong. Yeah, because I didn't at first I didn't realize that they were actually like pointing in a direction. Alright, that should work. Oh, and it brought us down. Yes! Alright, I'm gonna teleport to you. Alright, and it looks like it is wide open now. Perfect! Alright, so storage machine storage and machines, high level access only, but I don't think we need it. No, we can't go in there. You are not authorized to enter this area. Alright, so we head this way. The time machine must be around here. Okay. Dr. Uh. Laura, we're coming! All right, so this subject, neural implementer. I see it. It's right there. Pat, oh, thank the heavens you're safe. What's going to happen now? I this music. Right now, I need you to get through that time machine. Wait, what about you? I'll be fine, Pat. Now listen very closely. I see you right there. When you go through the machine, you'll arrive near a lab. The virus serum is in that lab. And you must dispose of it before it makes its way outside of the lab. Wait! I'll start firing up the machine. Don't be scared, Pat. I'm not scared for myself, I'm scared for her. The machine is starting up. Pat, take this. It will allow you to go back to the future. Oh my God, back to the future reference. Good luck, Pat. How do you laugh during these moments? <laughs> Give me that thing. I deserve it. I am the real time traveler here. Here you go. This will help us go back to the future. This is so intense. And you're like, haha, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Um, we don't go in here, right? We go into where she is? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna hit the button over here. Okay, hit it. So we just go right in there, I guess. Laura! Don't do this! <laughs> Don't do it, Laura! <laughs> we have to do this! We'll go together! We have to do- Oh, there's zombies over there. Goodbye, Pat. Take care of me, okay? Wait, Dr. Laura! Don't worry, pet You think she's okay? I'm watching her. I think they're killing me. Dr. Laura! 
Whoa! What is this? These are the timelines. You can read my thoughts? Correct. My AI is programmed to be compatible with you. Brace for impact. We are about to re-enter the time stream. Oh my god. Whoa. She had to elbow me a couple times. I didn't realize I said something. Hey, stop elbowing. <laughs> hey, are you all right? Oh, I feel terrible. Where am I? We are in Stan Gary Village eight years prior to our time. Eh, it can talk? Correct. My AI allows for independent. AI? Then you must be super smart. I think I'll call you Einstein then. I do not believe that. Wait, are you, are you Dr. Laura? Doctor? Hardly, haha. -ha. But my name is Laura. Hey, I don't know who you are, but I need to get back. Meet me in the barn, okay? So this was her eight years before. The one that I love is Dr. Laura, but she's not a doctor yet. Oh. So we have to meet her in the barn. Okay, let's go to the barn. All right, so the barn's definitely the one over there. Yes. All right, dudes, we are going to end the video here. Oh, my God. We played through the entire map in one go. So I tried to find an area that wouldn't, like, give away anything. <laughs> so we're, like, in the trees right now. But, guys, this is the best story-based map I have ever played before. And I'm going to be honest. You haven't gotten to the second part yet. But I got a little teary-eyed. Bring your Kleenexes. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, dudes, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely crush that like button and subscribe. Get ready for part two. And we'll see you next time. See you, guys.